Uh, it is, are you uh, Jason's? You're Jason's friend. <laughs> this is Brenda. This is Sam. She's my girlfriend. It's really nice to meet you. You too. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't realize who you are because he he never, you know, told That's... me what you look like or anything. Or he actually has never told me anything about you because uh, he doesn't really like to talk. But not to me. Yeah. Well, anyway, no, I, mean, I don't see any reason. To you. To tell you about my personal life, there's no. What are you talking no, about? Why wouldn't you tell me about your personal life? We've known each other forever. You have no problem taking away my choices. You're taking away your choices? I just thought your choices were wrong. I didn't oh, take anything away. Oh, you're gonna tell me how wrong I am in front of your girlfriend? We That's just... really nice behavior. Sam. Yeah. Sorry. No, I'm are you sorry. kidding? It's okay. It's, uh, it's actually kind of funny to see you like this. Give me. Uh, we're acting ridiculous. It's really nice to meet you. Uh, so, how is everything? <laughs> Where do you want me to start? I, well, how'd you meet Jason? No, you don't have to say anything. No, yeah, what are you talking you about? She what, doesn't what, have to tell you anything. What's your girlfriend? What? So, it's, it's okay. He just, he gets a little overprotective oh. sometimes. Yeah, that's really nice of him. He doesn't have to protect you from me, though. <sighs> I'm a private investigator. Oh, mm -hmm. that's a cool job. Yeah. Wow, what kind of uh, cases do you handle? Well, you know, just about anything that comes along, actually. You, pro you probably met my partner, Spinelli. He lives here. I love him. Yeah, he's, he's adorable. He's a cyber genius. You probably know my mom, Alexis Davis. I'm sure you know her. Sure. Yeah. That's your mom? Mm-hmm. Wow. Did you live at Windermere? No. Nope. Finding her was just a little bit more recent. Oh. Oh, so did you come here looking for your mom, <clears throat> for Alexis? Okay. Um, what? Full disclosure here, I, I suppose. Um, yeah, before I came to Port Charles, I was, um, I, I was a con woman, and I actually arrived here with Jax. And... I guess since we're putting it all out on the table, I'm just gonna get it over with before. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So after Jax, I was I was with Sunny. Oh. Uh, wow, you were with Jax and Sunny. That's amazing. Yeah. Look, Jax is the reason why I landed in Poor Charles, and then I, I wound up with Sunny. I don't know how that happened. It didn't last very long. He went back to Carly. Right, Carly. Yeah. So, anyway, as, as soon as they kind of got back together, I, I found out I was pregnant. Okay, you know, you don't have to uh, No, all right, Jason, I, I kind of want to just get it out on the table, you know? It was a good thing, because I moved in here, and Jason took care of me, and we fell in love, and we were really happy. We were going to raise the baby together, but that didn't happen. Um, I lost her. She was, she was still born. I'm so sorry. That's, yeah. that's horrible. It's, it's okay. Pick up the pieces and you move on. I, uh, I kind of wish you would have told me about some of this. You know, I'm really sorry that uh, he had to come to Rome. I, I feel... No, are you kidding me? Did he, did he needed to be in Rome. You were in danger, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, I uh... I shouldn't stay here. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. I, I don't, I don't want to make you feel weird. Or no. You it, know, poor Charles was my home, and so I, you know, I can find a safe place to stay that's not going to put you guys out. Absolutely not. I wouldn't dream of it. You stay here. Jason is going to protect you. He will take care of you. I promise you that. I have to go to work though, so it was very nice meeting you. Yes. Oh, it's so nice to see you again. Okay. <laughs> You're staying here. Why don't you ever tell me anything? Because it's none of your business. What do you mean she, none of my she business? She just told you everything. What, 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 do you, what, what, what are you want? talking about? You're just give me an order. I'm saying, why don't you ever have a real conversation with me and tell me what's because going on in your life? Because we don't want to talk. I don't you know, want to talk I'm here in the middle of your life now, and I would love to know what to expect when I'm sitting in this place. 
Not only are you... Do you love Sam? Uh, it's none of your business. Are you embarrassed to answer the question? No. Why don't you answer the question? Do you love her? Yes, I love her. You do? Mm-hmm. Will you marry her? That's none of your business either. Why? I'm your ex-wife. What does that mean? It means that you should tell me stuff. I'm your ex-wife. I'm your friend. Tell me things. Why do you have to act like you hate me well, so you, much? I don't hate you. What I just want to do my you? job do so you, you can go aware? back to Rome. Okay, well, good. Good. Great. Fine. Come on, let's go. Go where? I need to talk to Sonny. Yeah, I didn't know why I bothered. <clears throat> then don't. My friend Sam just walked in and she's sympathetic towards me. Besides, she's going through a lot right now, so maybe we should meet up later. Really? Yeah. Lucky yeah. Albert. Hold a grudge. Uh, look, if you hear from Patrick or Robin, can you call me? Promise. <clears throat> so I see you decided to wear one of the dresses after all. You look great. Yeah, Jason probably didn't even notice. Oh, and it gave me the much needed confidence to actually meet his ex. You met Brenda? Yeah. Just now. Uh, how did it go? Was it horrible? Um, just the opposite, actually. She could have been kinder or, or nicer, and if I wasn't so busy making a complete idiot out of myself, I probably actually would have liked her. Okay, it's not like Brenda said or did anything to make me feel uncomfortable. Like I said, she couldn't have been nicer, but still, it's like I walked in in the middle of a movie where I didn't know the characters and it was really hard to follow the conversation. It was like Jason and Brenda have this really weird chemistry. As in romantic? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, they weren't very nice to each other and there was a lot of insults being thrown around. It's just there's something under it I can't quite figure out. It sounds unsettling. Yeah, it is. Did you know Brenda when she used to live in Port Charles? Well, I was really little, so I didn't, like, know her, know her. But Brenda and Robin were pretty close, so I was around her a lot. I can't say I have a real take on Brenda, but I am happy to hate her if you want me to. I'm halfway there myself. Wait, why? Spinelli. He has a huge crush on her. According to him, God made Brenda magnificent, and then Hi. he just got bored. Okay, well, just don't hate her on, on my account, because quite frankly, I don't think she deserves it, because Brenda is actually genuinely nice. That's probably just an act. No, I, 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 I really don't think so. She went out of her way to put me at ease. It's not her fault that I am totally stuck on stupid. You know what? I don't think this has anything to do with Brenda and Jason and how they interact with each other. It's how I've been reacting. I have made Brenda's presence push buttons I didn't even think existed in me anymore. Maxie, it has flipped me out and made me insecure. You know what? I'm gonna do something about it. Thank you. Okay, that makes no sense at all. It doesn't need to make sense. It's Trust me, I don't need to make sense to you. I just need you to understand okay, hold on. Before that we, I have made a decision. Before and we like got to go here, you Sonny. said Sonny's bad for you. The whole plane ride over, Sonny's bad for you. I Why would I take you? I said that to you on the way over. Right. I'm going to change my mind. Do you understand not, that I no, changed I'm my mind? And I don't want to go He's see Sonny, but for I need you. to go see Sonny. I'm so good if we could refrain from using such loud voices in yeah, front of him. I'm sorry, but this is the only way that he knows how to communicate. So, I need to go see Sonny, and I would like you to take me since you are my bodyguard. Fine. I don't care. As long as you're breathing, I'm doing my job. Good. Let's go do your Great. job at science. You know what? I'm going to have guards meet you downstairs. Take you to see Perfect. Sunny. I would love that. Great. Let's go. He's just mad because I made him admit he has feelings for someone. We need to talk. Uh, if the jackal just might interrupt really briefly, perhaps Fair Smith is still writing an, a wave of angry off of her encounter with Brenda, and maybe because Brenda was... Okay, so that, that's not helping... Can you just give us a minute, please? Spinelli. Yes, I, I, can, I can absolutely do that. I don't compete with other women. It's not really in my nature. I mean, you wouldn't tell it by the way that I'm dressed right now. You look kind of ridiculous, don't I? It's just that, Jason, what, what am I... What am I supposed to do? There's really no rule book on what to do right now. Brenda's here. I get it. She's got to be here. But I just think there's probably only one solution. I think we should break up. 
that you want to break up? Yes. No. no just, I don't want to do this anymore. Do you, do you love me? Do you? Yes. Well, you know that I love you. I'm not going to let you walk away because of Brenda. The last thing. Listen, Brenda is always staying here because the security in Rome was not cutting it. As soon as I take care of the guy who's after her, she is out of here. I know. Back to her own life. I know. Okay, so our life does not have to change. Are you are you happy? Yes, I am happy. Okay. I'm always happy when I'm with you. There is no competition. Sam, you're the one I want to be with, not not Brenda. Jason, this really has nothing to do with Brenda. She's actually really very nice. This is me. This is totally me. I'm being insecure. Look at this dress. I mean, the purple dress. I'm like, hi, Jason, look at my dress. I need your attention. It's cute. It's like, hi. It's cute. It's cute. I'm sweet. You know, you don't have to try so hard. You're very easy to love. Not always. It doesn't matter. You're the one I want to be with. Why don't you move in with me? Never want you to question how I feel about you. I know you love me. I know that. You don't have to ask me to move in to prove it. I just put you on the spot, and you're just trying to make it okay, and, and you don't have to do that. Jason, I love you so much. Do you understand the luckiest day of my life is when we found our way back to each other? We don't have to change anything. I like things just the way they are. What? Wait. What? I thought, I thought you liked it here. I... I do like it here, but this but, is your place yeah. where you can get to do your own thing. Mm -hmm. I like to go to my place where I can do my own thing. That's why we're not always on top of you. Oh. Besides, I think <laughs> I think you are gonna thank me when you actually get a place to hide when Brenda starts driving you crazy. Gosh. Starts? Oh, Clay. Thinking about. How quiet it is when Brenda's not around. <laughs> Definitely did a number on this place, didn't he? Everything's <sighs> pink. Oh, yeah, she loves pink. He's got a bat, doesn't he? Yeah, and Brenda knows that she has him running all over town for organic everything. Oh, that's good. What? It's quiet. There's no one here. Oh, no. Go away. Oh. Yes, what? Jason, I'm glad you're here. Look, I need to... Hey. I'm sorry to interrupt him. No, he didn't interrupt. Huh. I'm gonna... I have some business to take care of upstairs. Bye. So... What's, uh, what's going on? Look, I need to ask you a favor. But you have to promise me not to tell anyone. 